Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this short video lecture I will discuss steel reinforcement details for these columns. Guys, this column is being designed for three-story educational building. Okay? So here guys we have 12 number of steel rods, 12 number we have which dia is 16 millimeter. Okay, this is 16 millimeter dia of steel rod. So guys here you can see they used six millimeter little tie dia okay which is not proper design for this column that's why because for these types of column or for three or more than three story building we should use minimum eight millimeter dia of steel rod for little tie listen here guys you can see this is these are its hooks which length is uh, about two inches or less than two inches it is also not proper that's why because it is bent with 90 degree but it should be provided with 135 degree so this is a mistake okay now guys here you can see uh, the other column let me show you this is other column you can see here they didn't use the proper spacing here guys you can see the spa spacing is not proper which is about one inch okay and look at here look at here the other one so this is about three inches okay so clearly guys you can see so they should do the good alignment for uh, rcc column okay but this is not the proper that's why because you can see here the spacing look at here okay so be careful for uh, reinforcement especially in rcc columns okay so let me show you the other column this is educational building okay so the first lateral tie should be placed with minimum two inches okay but here guys you can see they also provide about three inches but you can see here uh, they provide it with 90 degree the bend okay it should be with 135 degree okay but uh, this column guys you can see here we have eight steel rods okay because these are the boundary columns okay which dia is 16 millimeter okay here this is the other one Okay, we, we have C1 and C2 column. We have two types of column. Uh, and the size of this column is 18 by 18 inches. Okay. 